Now, in France, President Emmanuel Macron and nationalist Marine Le Pen are headed for that runoff in the presidential election. It takes place in the 24th, the second round. There's a TV debate on the 20th. It's a rerun, of course, of their 2017 contest. Um, the implications of this are likely to reverberate across Europe, particularly if Marine Le Pen wins. Let's go to Paris now. Caroline Conan standing by. Caroline, we are through the first round. We are whittled down to two candidates. It's exactly the same as 2017. Walk us through the differences between now and then and how these two candidates are going to have to adapt what they're doing as they head towards the 24th. This is a rematch of the 2017 elections, but it is not a remake because this time around, the run of polls actually show that the race between Emmanuel Macron and Marine Le Pen has become much tighter. And one reason for that is that Marine Le Pen has been very good at placing the issue of inflation, especially energy inflation, and the issue of purchasing power, the cost of living, at the heart of her campaign. And she's also been traveling up and down the country, meeting with the French while Emmanuel Macron was too busy on the diplomatic front with the war in Ukraine. So clearly, Emmanuel Macron, uh, this time around, between the two rounds, will have to hit the campaign trail again. Something he's already started uh, doing today by going to the north of France, which is a region where Marine Le Pen had the most votes in the first round. Caroline, you really mentioned that focus in on the domestic spending picture. I'm curious, though, as she kind of re strategizes, are Le Pen's efforts enough to widen her base and eventually get elected? I was at Le Pen's uh, headquarters, he, her rally last night for this first round, and uh, clearly the supporters were thinking that this time she could actually make it. She's never been so close uh, of winning a presidential election. It's very different from 2017 when Emmanuel Macron had a landslide victory of 66% uh, in the runoff. This is definitely going to be tighter. She needs to go out there and get uh, the hard left voters, those who voted for the country candidate who came third, Jean-Luc Mélenchon, uh, he actually uh, said that not a single vote in the runoff should uh, go to Le Pen, but he stopped short of endorsing Emmanuel Macron uh, for the runoff. So uh, it's going to be key because he had about 22 percent uh, of the votes in this first round. So where are these electorates, uh, where are these electors going to go uh, for the runoff is going to be key. And another thing that's going to be key to watch, of course, is is the debate on April 20. Last time in 2017, Marine Le Pen was not very good in the debate. This time she might be more prepared. Bloomers, Caroline Conan, live from Paris. Thank you so much for bringing us that reporting. As always, 